Bonjour tout le monde! Welcome to Weekday Wanderings in Paris. I'm Jackie. I'm back again after a one week hiatus with COVID. I'm recovered, I guess, still very tired um, and uh, that, but that's what you can expect with uh, COVID. Okay, one person just popped on, so bonjour. Here we are in the 10th arrondissement. We are on the Rue of uh, René Boulanger and we're next to this beautiful little hotel which is called the um, Providence. It's so pretty, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. So the um, neighbourhood we're in at the moment, we're going to be going through a lot of different kind of uh, vistas if you like. Um, it's really crossover. Bonjour Judy, hi how's it going? So we're actually starting off at a place um, Put the camera around and you can get a view of where we're heading. We're actually in um, the quartier of Saint Martin. Hey, it's Jenny Carliff. Hi, sweetheart. Lovely to see you. I haven't seen you in a while here. I hope you're doing well. Jenny's my adopted daughter. Susan McGregor. Hi there. How are you? Thank you for joining us. So here we are, we're heading towards the Porte Saint Martin. So we're in the 10th at the moment, but we're looking over to the boundary of the, uh, the third and the second. Okay, now if you look here, this is a metro entrance. Bonjour Kim. Hi Glenda May, nice for joining us. Metro entrance here. This is the metro station uh, San Mata, line 8 and 9. If you can't find it on your metro map, that's because it doesn't exist anymore. Why doesn't it exist? Well, because we have, uh, down this way, we have République, which is probably just a couple of minutes walk down that way. And we have Strasbourg Saint-Denis, which is just a couple of minutes walk, well, not even that, down that way. So it was really pointless having a metro station for that. So they just got rid of it. Uh, they often hold um, events, you know, like uh, fashion shows and art exhibitions down there, but not always. So anyway, here we are at the Porte Saint Martin. So I find this really fascinating because this shows um, one of the boundaries of Paris, the city of Paris, as Paris was expanding out from the centre. Um, this denotes the boundary of Paris that existed under Louis the Fourteenth, so in the 1600s. So this Porte de Saint Martin, this edifice here was built in 1674 and it is 18 meters tall. So it's a triumphal arch. They decided that those were pretty awesome and they should put them around the outside um, parts of Paris. And so there's one there. And this uh, street that we're on, looking down that way, is the Rue Saint Martin, which is obviously why this is the Book Saint Martin. And the street here, which if you consider that this here would have been the city wall, this technically would have been outside of Paris at that time and uh, therefore this is called the Rue du Faubourg Saint Martin. So a Faubourg is like a, a, like a suburb if you like or the area outside of so that's why it's called that. These arches, these ports are beautiful yes that's why I wanted to show you them. It's very cool. Okay. So this is a, like I said, it's a, a funny uh, part of town because it's a real crossover between really flash and really not flash. And it's quite busy, so hopefully I'm not going to be pointing the camera too many times at people. Heading down that direction, in the distance you might be able to see um, the guard list. And we've been to Gardeles before. One feature of this neighbourhood is a lot of clothing stores. Lots and lots of clothing stores. Lots of like bridal stores and stuff like that. Um, cheap ones. 
Okay, so we're going along the Boulevard Saint Denis, heading down this way, and guess where we're going to end up? Like I said, uh, the Metro uh, Saint Strasbourg Saint Denis is very close. In fact, that's right there, one of the entrance ways. So you can see why the um, Metro Saint Martin will shut down. But pointless, really, huh? Okay, so this area um, also has a lot of theatres. So we just had one, actually, I didn't even point it out. It was a beautiful one. I've taken photos of it, but it's, um, uh, it's, it's called the Théâtre de la Renaissance. Beautiful place. And you've got quite a few here. So we're at the Boulevard uh, de Strasbourg here. We, Judy, we are heading uh, west. Okay, so that's heading north. So again, that brings us up to to um, Gardelets that way. Okay. So this is the Boulevard de Strasbourg. It's a relatively new street. This was um, built under Houseman. Okay. And it's the main. You know, if you go down that way, you're going towards Chatley. And like I said, that's up towards Gardelets. Okay, hello Susie, hello Sally, nice to see you all. Okay, so this is obviously a little more modern, this part of town. So we're at, again, another entrance to the um, Metro Strasbourg Saint Denis, line 4, line 8, uh, line 9. Okay. So, hello Robin, I can see Robin's joined us. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, so the Boulevard Saint Denis. This is a very popular spot for um, Asian prostitutes. In case you see a large number, well today we don't seem to have any. Must be lunchtime. Okay. So we're heading towards now Rue Saint Denis and also the Porta Saint Denis. Okay. So, in my opinion, of these two ports, it's lovely to see these beautiful gates um, still in existence. This one here was built in 1672, so it's just two years older than the one we just saw. And the, the other one was 18 meters tall, this one's 25. This one's the more beautiful one, isn't it? Okay, so these were both built under Louis XIV. Okay, so the street that I'm pointing to now is uh, Rue saint Denis. Obviously why this is called the Porte de saint Denis, And it's one of the oldest streets in Paris. It was built in, um, uh, right, you know, in the first century. It was a Roman, a Gallo-Roman uh, street um, going from the city of Lut Lutetia um, and going north, let's say, due north. But isn't this port beautiful? It's lovely. Oh, have I missed Margaret? Margaret popped on? Hello, Margaret. I'm missing a few people. I'm not watching the screen as much as I should be. Okay, I have something really cool to show you in that direction, but we're just going to take a quick detour down here. So, as I said, because this was the city gate, anything beyond that is, of course, out of the city. And so this is called uh, the Rue du Faubourg Saint-Denis. Okay, so this street is nice and clean early in the morning. But by lunchtime it gets pretty noisy and pretty dirty and pretty horrible and I really don't like it. Um, sorry, I just missed... What is the time there, Susie said? Yes, it's 2.30 a.m. Um, why would I want to come down this street? Because one of my very favourite restaurants is down here, which I haven't been to in a long time. It actually occurred to me that the last time I was at this restaurant was in 2015 and I am going to go there today for lunch.
much. Here it is. It is called, now it's called the Bouillon Julienne. It's beautiful. It was um, opened in the, um, it's from the um, Belle Epoque, Bat Nouveau era. Um, it's also been known as Chez Julien at some point. There is another restaurant called Chez Julien, so don't get them mixed up. Um, and it's also been called the Brasserie Julien. Now, I came when it was called the Brasserie Julien, which is an a la carte menu. Um, I was quite flash when I used to come here. Now it's a bouillon. A lot of places are going back to being bouillon. So they're actually very, very good value for money. Very basic French meals and um, for a very good price. So I will be coming here to have lunch today. I want to show you the inside uh, and I will do a little video at lunchtime, okay, to show you that. But it is absolutely gorgeous. This was the favorite restaurant of Edith Piaf. She used to hang out here. And her lover, uh, Marcel Sudan, his uh, gym was down the street here. So that's my little detour. So we're going to head back down towards the Porte saint denis Okay, great food in that street if you know where to go, absolutely. Terry, hi Terry. Oh, I have never been there, but we may, but we have walked by many times on our way to Passage Brady. Okay, Passage Brady is down that way as well. Um, goes through to uh, Rue Samata, uh, Rue Faubus Samata. And that's got beautiful, uh, like Indian, there's a beautiful shop called uh, Verlaine, um, which is where I get all my spices and Indian food products. It's really, really nice. Okay. So, so this um, street, um, Rue Saint-Denis, very, very special because it, um, like I said, it linked the centre of Paris back towards Saint-Denis, which is that general direction. And people used to go there, well more importantly the kings used to go there because that's where all the kings of France are buried, in uh, Saint-Denis. So this, is a, this was a royal route. Okay, you see we're coming up to a hill here? It's, how do you say hill or mountain in French? Mont. Mont. This is Montorgueil. Montorgueil. Hi Julia. Hey, glad you are feeling better. Thank you very much. I'm feeling a million times better. Still a bit ill, but much, much better. Okay, so, did it, like I said, this is Montorgueil. So you know the Rue Montorgueil? Well, it's named after this mountain here. There's a man staring at me, so I'm going to point my camera the other way, just so I'm not going to be in his face. Okay. So what we're actually getting to is just over the road here. It's really special. It's quite busy, yeah? Oh, the sun has come out. It's very pretty. Not so cold. I changed jackets this morning. You know that it's um, a change of the season when uh, you change out your jackets. Okay, and while I'm on that subject, I need to make an announcement. Um, we have daylight savings starting this, this Sunday, which means that next Friday, it's going to be one hour earlier. Keep that in mind, okay? I'll do an extra reminder of that later. Look at this building. So, um, there's some really special buildings. This one here, very pointy because of the way the streets are done, but this one over here is very, very special. Even more pointy than the other ones. Which side of the road do I need to go? Okay, G uh, Judy said, I've stayed many times and love Montorgueil. Yeah, it's cool, huh? I love all of Paris, Susie says, so do I. Okay, well, maybe not all of Paris. There are some parts I really don't like. But uh, there are so many other places that it's very easy to just be in love the whole time. Okay, look at this. So, this is actually 
the skinniest habitable building in Paris. This is called Pointe Triano, and as you can see, it is just that wide. Isn't that cool? So it's four stories high. We have a shop on the bottom, three stories of bedrooms, and then a bathroom on the top. And on the side you have the Rue uh, Beauregard and on that side there is the Rue de Clary just in case you were wanting to find it and it's got a little sign on there saying um, Ici habité en 1793 which is in 1793 who lived here the poet André Chenier and uh, he was actually arrested after living here and um, he got guillotined. So anyway, voila. So, I don't know how long I've talked for. I seem to have been on for a long time. But yeah, those were a couple of things I just wanted to show you. Sally says that's awesome. Isn't it funky? That's so cool. We've got 12 people here already, just as I'm finishing. So anyway, that was just a quick walk around uh, Saint-Denis, Saint-Martin. Uh, Saint Let me just point back to where we were. So you got that last little view of uh, the top Saint-Denis just there. It is pretty, isn't it? Okay, so there's lots of little cafes and stuff around here. Uh, lots of boutique. It's very bobo around here. So anyway, I'm going to head down um, Rue Saint Genie because I really love it. It's really cool to um, explore the vestiges of um, Paris as it's evolved over the centuries, uh, and you can see little tidbits of that all the way down. Uh, San, um, San Denis, Rue San Denis. So next time you're in Paris, have a little wander along and take in the history. I find it really fascinating. So anyway, thank you very, very much for joining me today. And uh, I'm glad to be back. And sorry about last week, but uh, hopefully COVID stays away long enough that I can uh, keep doing these. So lots of people are. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> thank you for joining me. We will see you next Friday. Don't forget, it will be an hour earlier because of daylight savings starting in France. Um, I hope you're all doing very well. I hope you're staying away from COVID. And I want you to take care and smile. See you later. Bye.